and welcome back to the dentist app. Today's video is another set of random questions from previous year papers in general medicine. So make sure to watch the video till end. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell and never miss an update from the dentist app. So let's begin with the prevention of viral hepatitis B. A recombinant hepatitis B vaccine containing the HPS antigen capable of producing active immunization in 95% of normal individuals is available. Three injections of hepatitis B vaccine given intramuscularly at birth, first and six months gives protection over 90%. Larger doses are given for immunocompromised individuals. Let us now see the clinical features of hemophilia. Hemophilia is an inherited autosomal X-linked blood disorder whose clinical features are read under the following subheadings. In severe cases, there is spontaneous bleeding into joints and muscles called the hematrosis and hematomas respectively. In moderate cases, there are hematomas following minor injuries or trauma. In mild cases, there is bleeding after major surgery or injury. The investigations in hemophilia. There is normal platelet function, bleeding time and prothrombin time. The activated partial thromboplastin time is prolonged but normalizes with mixing of normal plasma. There is marked reduction in the levels of clotting factor 8 which is the anti-hemophilic factor. The 1 Willebrand factor and the 1 Willebrand factor antigen levels are normal. The next question is fluorosis. Fluorosis occurs in areas where the fluoride content of drinking water is high over 3 to 5 parts per million. It leads to mottling of teeth, enamel loses its luster and becomes rough, pigmented and pitted. The teeth with fluorosis resist caries and are not usually associated with any impairment of health or skeletal fluorosis. Tuberculin test, which is also called as the Mantoux test, is an intradermal test. It is done by injecting purified protein derivative intradermally on flexor surface of forearm. The test result is interpreted by measuring transverse diameter of induration as detected by gentle palpation after 48 to 72 hours. An area of induration with more than 15 mm diameter is taken as positive. Let us see the clinical features of scurvy. Scurvy occurs due to deficiency of vitamin C. The diagnosis is confirmed by low ascorbic acid levels in plasma and platelets. The clinical features in children include anorexia, pain in limbs, Scorbitic rosary, which is the enlargement of costochondral junctions. There are swollen and spongy gums and the papillae between teeth give scurvy butt appearance which bleed easily. Clinical features in adults include perifollicular hemorrhages which are tiny bleeding spots around hair follicles of skin, corkscrew hair appearance due to deposition of keratin material on the surface around the mouth of follicles, petechial hemorrhages seen on feet and ankles, swollen and spongy gums, and ecchymosis anywhere on the body. So these are some of the random very short questions asked in previous papers of general medicine. Hope you found them informative. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to The Dentist Talk.